Hey, this is Dr. Todd Brennan, Healthy View Podiatry. So we have a little bit of a different video today. It'll be more of an educational video, I guess more than a maybe gory to a degree. All right, um, so we have this. This uh, came in today, all right? Um, obviously, it's very angry and very mad. Um, so this happened three, four days ago, um, and you can see he's got a lot of drainage to it right now. Um, kind of pushing around on here, there's really not expressing a lot of pus. You're getting a lot more kind of serous drainage, and the tissue itself is very, uh, it's kind of shedding. You can see this ring of redness and darkish, and the redness is extending up. Um, the patient did verbalize he had a fever, whether it's truly from this or not, you know, we don't know for sure, um, but that's still something that we worry about. So today's video, the goal is, all right, well, let's discuss it. The patient's not diabetic, which is good. All right, he is on blood thinners for, um, for heart conditions, all right? So when we see something like this, we have to assess it appropriately, and this is for the diabetics at home because this is kind of a textbook diabetic foot case that we see sometimes. So. A couple things. One is the redness is obviously a local cellulitic infection. It's a infection of the tissue, the subcutaneous uh, and fatty tissue. But the more concerning is obviously the black discoloration, okay? What we worry about is if there's necrosis or dying tissue that's underneath there. Now, the fact that it's not fluctuant, meaning that there's not an abscess, uh, is concerning that that tissue is uh, potentially dying. Now, there is a possibility as far as what caused it. He's got a big bunion, so it could have rubbed against the shoe. Um, it could be a bite, all right, uh, of some like a brown recluse kind of bite, and that could be why the tissue is dying, all right. More concerning things would be if it's something like necrotizing fasciitis, which can occur, and it's a strep infection that can spread rapidly that we need to get ahead of it, all right. Um, we did get x-rays. There was no gas in the tissue, which tells us a couple things. One is that it's not... Uh, affected by a certain type of bacteria and two is it's that I don't want to say it's not emergent because obviously it is based on what it looks like but it's not where we need to take him to the OR yesterday kind of thing okay so the goal for something like this if your foot ever looks like this if you notice systemic symptoms nausea vomiting fever chills the goal is to go to the hospital obviously right and, and the reason is you don't want to go a bunch of different directions and try to settle this issue outside of the, the walls. We go to the hospital and we can get um, IV antibiotics, we can get cultures, we can get MRIs, we can get um, vascular consults to make sure healing potentials there, okay? And more importantly and most likely what will need to be done is some type of surgical intervention where we have to go in and clean up this tissue and get a better grasp for the tissue that's deeper. Is there necrotic tissue? If there is, it needs to be removed so good healthy tissue comes in. Aftercare, usually then it's topical wound care, whether it's wound back or negative pressure, um, graft applications, whatever it may be, that's, that's down the line. Nonetheless, what we have to do is treat the symptoms. We need to get this under control so that we can get it to heal properly. Again, today's video was more of an educational video. Yeah, the foot doesn't look pretty. He would agree with that. Um, but uh, we also want to educate, right? It's not just about graphic um, imagery on our on our channel we want to educate you as well so this is you know important and it's great that he came in obviously so if you have something a loved one that diabetic make sure they're checking their feet or you're checking their feet for them because this could be underneath the, the sock and shoe and you don't even know about it so it's important because if this individual didn't come and get it checked this could have progressed from just a big toe problem to losing his leg or going you know even worse getting septic and you know then that's a whole different ballgame so um, again more educational I hope you enjoyed it's a short video but again I think it's important to illustrate this for those watching okay so uh, thank you as always like us subscribe follow us on Instagram YouTube and uh, have a good day take care